I loved Veronica Mars. So oh, what's thanks. the difference between Veronica Mars and iZombie? Um, Kristen Bell is one inch shorter. Um, <laughs> both blonde, both speaking uh, in first person narration. I actually, I alternately write down their, the, each other's names. I can't keep track of them myself. <laughs> what drew you to iZombie? Um, the head of Warner Brothers Development said that we need the next great CW kick-ass heroine on the network. And uh, they said, uh, she said, we want the next Veronica, we want the next Buffy, and Joss Whedon was not available. So I was, I w I was next up for that mission. <laughs> well, you're doing a great job. Oh, thanks. Thank, thank you. you so much oh, for no talking problem. with me. All and right. I am loving the show. Oh, thank you. Thank you very thank much. You. All right. Thank you so much I'm for talking. Hi, Hi, Diana. Diana. I'm Cherry. Cherry I'm nice a huge you. fan of iZombie. Awesome. Thank How did you. you guys come up with the concept and sort of um, take the comic book to a real life show? Um, well, we, we both loved the comic book. Can you see yourself? Do you need to come close? Come here. All right. Come with me. You're right here. There you are. You look good. We look good. Look at us. We do. Oh, my gosh. Um, so we, it was definitely inspired by the comic, and, it, and like the heart of it was in there, this journey that this woman had of being like in your mid-20s when you think you know what's going on with your life, and then all of a sudden you get completely derailed, and not just derailed by a normal occurrence, but by being a zombie was so interesting to us. So that's the, the inspiration that we took from the, the comic. How was the writing for this um, different than Veronica Mars? Since they're both strong females, they're both, you know, fun, but one's a zombie and one's not. Um, I think that the difference about it was, I mean, they both have a procedural element, but this also had, like, the, the sci-fi element that I've been craving as a sci-fi nerd and uh, a genre geek that I couldn't wait to kind of get in there and, and do this. But I think we had, I think we... A little bit of a difference was this was more fun. Like, I don't know, Veronica Mars was pretty fun to write too, but this was, I don't know, they, they were so interested in the project that we got to just kind of go in there and have a good time. And it was pretty, it was just fun. We had a great time. I'm having a good time watching it. Thank you so much for bringing eyes on oh my god! TV. Thank you for watching it. I'm so thrilled to do it. And it's such a great cast. You guys oh are god. just it's, on point. It's amazing. Our cast is amazing. And it, it came together like so late in the game that you were thinking like, ah. Oh. You know, Rob always says that for Veronica Mars, Kristen was the first person they saw out of 100. And for, for this show, Rose was the last person we saw out of 100. So she walked in and I was like, it's like one of those like cop scenes where you handcuff yourself to someone so that they can't get away. I was like, you're here, don't leave. But um, yeah, so I pretend that I found um, Raul Coley at a, um, a Chuck E. Cheese in London, but they don't have Chuck E. Cheese's there, so I didn't discover him, which kind of pisses me off because I wish I did. Well, it's great. Thank you so much for talking with me. Thank and you. I hope you're having a great wonder time. Thanks. Hope you are too. Take care. I got to interview the creators and producers of iZombie, who also created one of my favorite shows, Veronica Mars, here at WonderCon. So check out my YouTube channel, Cherry Los Angeles.